Hello everybody and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video. My name is Leaf and as always, it's awesome to have you guys here. And like, you know, you guys are absolutely amazing. <laughs> I just need to say that. We just passed about 2,000 subscribers. Yeah, at least I think we have by the time that this video comes out. I really do hope so because this comes out tomorrow. But hey, hey, we'll worry about that later. Today we're back in Leaf's Oasis and we are working on three new exhibits. And I gotta say, most of these animals are by Jen and they're absolutely amazing. So I start off with the nice little Gariel exhibit. I figured, you know, these guys are really cool and they don't really get a lot of love. And you know, they're probably one of my favorite crocodilians. So I figured why not throw them in there? And I feel like they have a nice little home in here and you know, they enjoy themselves. I uh, do a little bit of foliage work. Unfortunately, they like, I don't know. Some of the foliage doesn't really work too well in, you know, Nevada, Nevada. I don't even know how people say it. But yeah, you can see I just crashed right there. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to record any, like, you know, gameplay wise, I guess. I only opted for, like, building videos because unfortunately, there is a mod out there that crashes in vet research. So it kind of negates, like, most of the whole point of challenge mode so i'm gonna try and work and figure out which one it is so i can get some nice like gameplay going for you guys because hey i miss this series like i really want to like make this the best damn zoo i possibly can but yeah here we are doing a little bit of work on the fennec fox exhibit i figured you know why not put a fennec fox in here their desert animals are cute they don't really require a lot of space this zoo isn't really going to be like you know the most realistic but it's going to have like it's gonna opt for a lot more realism whenever you can. So I really do put like a lot of love into these exhibits. You can see like, I basically do three speed build exhibits in here and I really haven't done a speed build in a while. So it was really fun just to get like back in here and do some stuff. I like opted to use some like the King Proteria bushes or flowers or whatever they are. And I just dress up with a few more rocks and I give them a little bit of hard shelter. And you know, they just love their little exhibit. And I'm really happy we got these guys in here because the Fennec Fox is easily one of my favorite mods. And it's just really awesome to have them, especially because, you know, soon enough we're at, you know, we might get them as, you know, <laughs> official frontier animals. So we'll have to see about that. We will see how they choose to add their animals in the next DLC, which by the way, SteamDB kind of leaked. And we actually know that a new DLC is coming. Isn't that a surprise, you know? So we can only hope that it's going to be a good one. And over here, I switch out one of these Smalley Wild Asses just to get some more breeding going and make sure we kind of like keep our populations up. And over here, I'm just looking for more animals because I didn't want to end the video just yet. And I was like, you know what? It's just going to be Jen's showcase at this point. I call this the gentrification. So I put in some of the striped hyenas over here. I do a little bit of like a sunken habitat for them. And I think it comes out pretty good. I mean, it's certainly not the best habitat, but they have a lot of room in there. And hopefully we can get a whole, I don't know what you call a group of hyenas, maybe a troop. That's just an absolute guess right there. So here I am just connecting like the staff pathing and I'm just throwing the hyenas in here, making sure that they have all the stuff that they need. Not really all the stuff because we can't really research the other things that they need, but still nonetheless, they have a nice little happy hole over here. And you know, they just love their little habitat and I think it comes out so well. I mean, we are already going so hard on like African creatures at the start of this. The Gariel and Bighorn Sheep really don't mix too well, but you know, every zoo needs to have like a little bit of like, you know, animals that don't really belong there. And I think it comes out good in the end. So who can complain too much? I just really do love how this all came out. I really do like miss getting into speed builds. I think I may actually do a few speed builds for you guys soon, just because I'm having so much fun with it. It's so fun. But you know, I'm not really sure what I could speed build. Maybe like further down the line once um. Foxboro Zoo finishes up like the deer train, I can actually start doing some more speed builds for you guys in there because I would love to have like some centralized habitat focused stuff, you know? Because hey, who doesn't like a nice speed build from time to time, you know? I'm a really big fan of what I did over here, by the way. I just kind of like hid the staff entrance a little bit 
and I just kind of dress it up a little bit more. I like kind of gave up on that quickly. <laughs> oh, I figured, you know, it's just staff access. It doesn't need to be pretty. They they get paid enough, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing a little bit of like fixing things up. I realized that this sheep needed a vet research, so I plop one down. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the entire speed build. We're just gonna jump into some live portions right here. And, you know, it should happen, like, any second now. But I really do want to thank you guys for, like, continuing to support me, continuing to support the series. Again, Leaf's Animal Farm is not dead. I will get back to that at some point eventually. But for now, I just want something new. So you can see our happy little gharials on their little dock. I just love how big the male gharials get. They're badass. I love them so much. And I really do like the tree in the middle. I think it came out pretty well. And, yeah, that's pretty much it it we're just gonna like go through like the rest of the footage because i had a lot pre-recorded but yeah here are our little fennec foxes they're enjoying their nice little habitat their food does rot quick quickly but hey like what can you do you know but yeah amazing work to jen on both of these creatures not the gharial though she didn't make the gharial that was all frontier <laughs> but yeah it's just really awesome to have these back in leaf's oasis i feel like they're like the perfect stars of the zoo themselves but yeah, like that is being said, I want to thank you guys so much for, again, continuing to support me. It's like we're, we are just at the cusp of 2K and it's really awesome. I will start recording the uh, Planet Zoo and VR videos as soon as possible. I really cannot wait to show you guys like how it works. It's not going to be as amazing <laughs> as like you would originally think, but it's still going to be really fun to have like nonetheless. So. Yeah, like that is being said, I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care, and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. <laughs>